Tonight, the Bible reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 1 to 11. Today's reading is taken from Joshua, chapter 23, verse 1 to 11. Yehovah has kept the Israelites quiet, and the enemy has been fighting for many years. Joshua, old and old, has sent the Israelite leaders, the priests, the judges, the judges, and 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 the judges, 我所剪除和所剩下的各国，从约旦河起，到日落之处的大海，我已经研究分给你们各支派为业。耶和华你们的神必将他们从你们面前赶出去，使他们离开你们，你们就必得他们的地为业，正如耶和华你们的神所应许的。所以，你们要大大壮胆，谨守遵行写在摩西律法书上的一切话。不可偏离左右，不可与你们中间所剩下的这些国民掺杂。他们的神，你们不可提他的名，不可指着他起誓，也不可侍奉、叩拜。只要照着你们到今日所行的，专靠耶和华你们的神。因为耶和华已经把又大又强的国民从你们面前赶出，直到今日，没有一人在你们面前站立得住。你们一人必追赶千人，因耶和华你们的神照他所应许的为你们征战。你们要分外谨慎，爱耶和华你们的神。这是上帝的话语，感谢上帝。Shalom, good evening, everyone. 弟兄姐妹，大家晚上好。The mighty presence of God, let us pray. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to praise you because you are God who is worthy of all praises and honor. Lord and Father, we just want to May the words that proceeds from the mouth of humble servant, 愿你仆人口中所说的每一句话 ，and the meditations of our hearts all, 我们心里啊，我们的心思意念 ，will glorify your mighty name. 能够荣耀主你的圣名。In Jesus' name, we pray. 奉耶稣基督的名字祷告。Amen. Amen. Good evening, everyone, and we have come to the end of the book of Joshua. 弟兄姐妹，大家晚上好。今天晚上呢，我们就来到啊，就要结束这个约书亚记的系列了。We are at uh chapter twenty three and the final chapter, chapter twenty four. 所以呢，今天晚上呢，我们会看第二十三章还有二十四章。Um, last week we talked about the fact that the、uh, Joshua and the people, in fact, have already conquered、uh, most of the land in the Promised Land. 所以呢，在上个星期我们就有说到约书亚和啊以色列民呢，他们都已经几乎占领了应许之地的所有的地。And、uh, what happened there was in 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 chapter thirteen all the way to chapter twenty two, we we were talking about the divisions of land. 所以在十三章到二十二章呢，都是在讲到他们分地的事情。In these two chapters of the、uh, the、uh, final two chapters in the book of Joshua, it it talks about uh the end. Uh, for Joshua, in fact. So, in the twenty-third chapter and the twenty-fourth chapter, it is basically talking about the life of Joshua's life. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really a very long journey. For Joshua, it was really Uh, the the last chunk of the Old Testament. 可是呢，对于我们来说，约书亚记呢，就是帮助我们开始的来了解旧约所说的这一切。Because if you want to understand the book of、uh, Judges, the book of Samuel's and Kings, and also Chronicles, we we need to understand what has been recorded in the book of Joshua. 
如果我们要来去了解，比如说《四世纪》接下来的《撒母耳记》上下、历代志上下啊，这些啊，这些的啊书啊，这些的书卷的话呢，我们必须要先明白《约书亚记》。Therefore, it is very much Joshua is the beginning for us to understand the following few books. In fact. 所以耶稣亚基呢，能够帮我们开始去明白到接下来的这些的书卷。Uh, coming back to chapter three and twenty-four, it is really about how Joshua is recalling this long journey that he took. 所以来到二十三章和二十四章呢，这基本上就是记载到约书亚他回顾他所走过的这漫长的旅程。If you have read twenty-three and twenty-four, chap- the two chapters, you will know that it is very much of a very old man. Um, sharing about what has happened and also his word of wisdom for those who were、uh, listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, a very old man, who is sharing his wisdom for those who were listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, a very old man, who is sharing his wisdom for those who were listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, a very old man, who is sharing his wisdom for those who were listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, a very old man, who is sharing his wisdom for those who were listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, a very old man, who is sharing his wisdom for those who were listening to him. So, when we read twenty-three and twenty-four, we will see that this is an old man, Israel rests from all their enemies around them. Joshua, by then old and well advanced in 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 years, in verse two he says, summon all Israel, their elders, leaders, and judges and officials, and say to them, and it goes on. 耶和华使以色列人安静，不以世为的一切仇敌征战。已经多日，约书亚年纪老迈，就把以色列众人的长老、族长、审判官并官长都招了来，然后就对他们说了这些话。And it was in chapter twenty-four, begin at the beginning was the verse one of chapter twenty-four. It says, "Then Joshua assembled all the tribes of Israel at Shechem and summoned the elders, leaders, judges, and officials of Israel, and they presented themselves before God." 然后二十四章第一节这里说，约书亚将以色列的众支派聚集在示剑，招了以色列的长老、族长、审判官并官长来，他们就站在神面前。I think there is a very important lesson for all of us here.、Uh, that is, there is a need for older people to share about the journey of faith that have they have gone through. 其实，当我们看这些的经文的时候呢，我觉得在这里有一个啊，就是有一个的需要，就是我们需要年长的弟兄姐妹来向我们分享你们所走过的这些啊信心的旅程。If you are sixty-five tonight and you are worshiping with us, whether here or at home, ah,、uh, we we really want to acknowledge you. In fact. 所以今天晚上，如果你是啊六十五岁或以上的弟兄姐妹，无论是在现场或者是在啊家里敬拜的，今天晚上我们都要向你致敬。I think there's a lesson for all of us that there is wisdom in age. 在这里，今天晚上我们要学的一个功课就是我们看到年纪是会带来智慧的。Before we look into the details, we we need to encourage older people to share with us. Their experience and also their journey of faith. In my continuing to talk about this, I want to encourage older brothers and sisters. We need you to share your experience, your faith. But in an age where we are not able to share our faith, but in an age where the skill set of the young people are beyond the ability of older generation,、uh, meaning to say,、um, most of the young people, when you are born, you are born with a handphone. 那么，可是呢？现在呢？我们是生活在这样子一个的时代，就是很多的年轻人，他们的技能已经超出了老一辈。比如说啊，年轻人他们现在出生的时候呢，就已经开始有手提电话了，手机了。So some of us who are older、um, find it difficult to use the handphone, let alone how to make a TikTok video. 所以呢，啊，年长的弟兄姐妹呢，我们就觉得说很难去用这个的手机，所以更何况要去录这个 TikTok 的影片呢？ But therefore, in in this age, sometimes people who are young thinks that there is nothing relevant for older people to say to them. So, ah, the result, ah, the older generation, they think that older generation, ah, these elders, ah, have nothing to say to them. So, it is very tempting sometimes for younger people. Ah, it is perhaps one of the first generation, ah, to share their faith with us. So, it is very tempting sometimes for younger people. Ah, it is perhaps one of the first generation, ah, that in fact the younger generation. Gen- generation have skills, skills set that older people do not have. 
。所以呢，我们看到现在的这些的年轻的一代呢，似乎是。第一代是超越了啊，就是他们所具有的技能是超越了啊这些老一代的弟兄姐妹。So is it is very tempting for young people to think that the older people have nothing worth listening to. 所以可能年轻人他们就有这样子一个倾向，就是觉得说年长的人长辈所说的也没有什么好听的。But at the same time, those who are old perhaps are also tempted to think that they have nothing worthwhile. To say to the young people, 可能年长的弟兄姐妹也会觉得啊，有这样子一个的倾向，就觉得说他们也没有什么可以对这些年轻人好说的。Even before we go into the content of what Joshua say to the people, I think the the basic lessons for us here is, in fact, for us to come to this point that the older people must take up the responsibility. To share their journey in life to the younger people. 可是，在我继续来去分享这些的经文之前呢，我要鼓励所有年长的弟兄姐妹，让我们拿起我们的责任来去向年轻的一辈来分享我们信心的旅程。And those of us who are younger must learn that we need to listen to people who are older than us. When they share something to us, 而且年轻的弟兄姐妹，我们也要学习，就是当这些年长的弟兄姐妹向我们分享他们的心声的时候，我们要学习去聆听。If we may ask how many young people put on their earphones when older people speak to them, 有多少的年轻人今天当长辈向你说话的时候呢？你戴上你的这个的耳机呢？ Uh, you don't have to raise your hand, but、uh, it is. 啊，你不需要举手。It is a culture. That we really need to、uh, put a balance as to older people need to share their experience and younger people need to learn to listen. 可是我觉得我们可以就是操练这样子一个的文化，就是年长的弟兄姐妹可以去分享你们的经历，年轻的弟兄姐妹你们要学习聆听。Let us go to what Joshua has to say. 让我们来看一下约书亚所要说的。Basically, Joshua in these two chapter is saying this one thing. That because he is our God. So, 基本上在这两章呢，约书亚所要说的就是因为他是我们的神。If we come to chapter twenty-four, beginning at verse fourteen. 如果我们来看约书亚记二十四章从第十四节开始。He starts with this. Uh, he starts with this and say, "Now fear the Lord and serve Him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods your forefathers worshipped." Beyond the rivers and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. Now you must serve Yahweh, sincerely serve Him. Take your gods on the Red Sea and the gods in Egypt, and leave them to serve Yahweh. And he goes on in verse fifteen to say, "But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve: whether the gods of your forefathers served beyond the rivers, or gods of the Amorite in." Whose land you are living, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. 若是你们以侍奉耶和华为不好，今日就可以选择所要侍奉的，是你们列祖在大河那边所侍奉的神呢？是你们所住这地的亚摩利人的神？还至于我和我家，我们必定侍奉耶和华。Why, why do we say that? Basically, he is saying because he is God. It is because. In in this, when they have come to this stage, they've already experienced so many things that they knew that it only happened because God make it happen. Why does Joshua say, "Because He is our God"? Because they have gone through this stage. They have experienced many things. They know that only God can do it. Because 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 God can do it. What he says to the people is basic. It is this thing that following God is a one-directional decision. So, in this chapter, Joshua is telling these Israelites to spread the message that following God is a one-directional decision. Those of us who are living in this part of the world very much know that very often we are in a culture where people are telling us that following God is a one-directional decision. Very much know that very often we are in a culture where people have multiple gods. 在我们所生活的这个时代，特别是在我们这一代的地区呢，我们知道，我们作为啊，有一些人，他们是就是拜很多神。Similarly, in 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 China, it is also that people 
tends to have multiple gods. So, in the Canaan people, they are also the same. They have multiple gods. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them that you need to choose who you are serving. But Joshua is saying to them Or if you want to follow the beliefs that is very popular now in the land that you are living, that is the god of Amorite, then you follow the god of Amorite. 可是如果你要选择说现在他们所住的地是亚摩利人的地，然后你就觉得说，如果他们要选择去侍奉这些人的神的话呢，他们现在就可以选择这样子。But if you want to choose God, then in its original text, Yahweh. Then you will have to follow him wholeheartedly. We will come to that later. 可是如果你们是要侍奉耶和华的话呢，那么你们就要全心全意的来去侍奉他。As if to give a direction to the people who were listening, he says at the end of verse 15, "But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord." 对于他的听众，他也给了他们一个的方向。在啊十五节结束的时候，他就说：“至于我和我家，我们必定侍奉耶和华。” The word "serve the Lord" sometimes in 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 our setting we tend to think of it as playing the music, perhaps. When we talk about serving the Lord, maybe some people will think that it is serving the Lord. Or people who are teaching and preaching. 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 The passage, you will know that it is always in comparison of following or or worshiping another god. 可是如果你看它的原文的时候呢，在它的上下文里面，侍奉它总是就是说啊，会和比如说你去跟啊，你去啊跟随敬拜其他的神来去做一个的比较。The the in this original text is used the word serve as in work. Because in this, in the culture of that day, or in fact, in the culture of our day also, many people when they worship God, they have to make an effort, isn't it? Because one, ah, ah, because when you worship God, you have to put in some effort. Ah, 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 some That there is a lesson for us to learn that um, that when we see people worshiping, that they have to offer a chicken or whatever it is. There is an effort that needs to be made. But for us in church, we just come as we are. So to speak. Um, for example, today we see our friends, they come to worship God. For example, they bring some gifts. 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 Always, in fact, it is talking about worshiping and following. So, when Jesus said, "You should choose whether you should serve God or serve some other god," the word "serve" means to follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should follow Him and follow Him. It is always a reminder that you should 有时候我们现在所面对的问题就是来教会敬拜神是很容易的一件事情。Even then, we are late for church. 可是尽管如此，我们还是会迟到。In fact, as I was preparing this, I, I was reminded of when, when we in, in my family when we had our three children who were very young at that time. 当我在准备这一切的时候呢，我就回想到，在我的家里面，当我的三个孩子还很小的时候。If you have a seven thirty service, you need to start preparing the children at six o'clock. 如果你要参加早上七点半的崇拜的话，你六点就要开始准备你的孩子了。I, in fact, as as I remember that, it, it really reminds me that, in fact, in a sense, 
when, when we have to come, my wife and I had to come with the three children. It, it was an effort that need to be put in in order to be able to come to worship God. So this is also reminding me of the time So those of you who have young children, we really want to encourage you to come with your children because the fact that you come with your children, it is serving the Lord. So we don't worry if they make noise in church because that will be music God. As a church, we are very concerned because with this online thing, all parents of young children are tempted to think all children should do online at home. I think we have been here for five weeks. Not a single time I have heard a baby cry or a child running around. And screaming. Let me sidetrack a bit. It is a detriment to our church, in fact. It is a detriment to our church. Uh, um, um, it, it is it's not a very good thing, not a very good sign to the church. We need to hear our baby cry. We need to see the children running around and screaming. We So, Jackie, can I see your son next week? <laughs> you see okay. Wonderful, wonderful. So, we, we need this because we need to see the next generation in church. So, we need to see our parents willing to serve the Lord because they need to make an extra effort to, to worship God. And it goes on to actually reminds us, reminds us that, that for us to worship God, it, it requires us to follow Him. And how do we follow Him? If you go back to chapter 23, Verse 6. In chapter 23, verse 6, Joseph said, Be very strong, be careful to obey all that is written in the book of law of Moses without turning aside to right or to the left. So to serve God or in, in, in our words, to follow God and to worship God requires us to follow the Word of God. But if you read the verse carefully in verse 6, you will see that he used these two words to say following the Word of God. He said, be strong in following God's Word. We often think that it's be obedient in following God's word. Nothing wrong with that. But Joshua here is saying be strong in following God's word. And he says, be careful, be careful. To follow God's word. I think these two words in verse 6 really worth for us to consider what it means in our lives. So Is it because there is just a little bit of objection or it is just a little bit of inconvenience? then we become weak and we do not follow what is written in God's Word. Joshua said, be strong in following God's Word. My friends, consider that. 
But it, there is also another point I think that is very important for us to highlight is in following God, in serving God, in verse 12 and 13, he says this. He said, but if you turn away and ally yourself with the survival of this nation and remain among you, uh, that remain among you, and if you intermarry with them and associate with them, then you may be sure that the Lord your God will no longer drive out those nations before you. Instead, they will become snares and traps for you, whip on your back and thorns in your eyes until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. 与你们中间所剩下的这些国民联络，彼此结亲，互相往来。你们要确实知道，耶和华你们的神并不再将他们从你们眼前赶出。你们却要成为他们，却要成为你们的网罗，饥砍肋上的鞭，眼中的刺，
enter into a dating relationship just because it is the culture of the day. So I want to let you know that we don't just go out and date someone just because it's the culture of the day. So I want to let you know that we don't just go out and date someone just because it's the culture of the day. So I want to let you know that we don't just go out and date someone just because it's the culture of the day. So I want to let you know that we don't just go out and date someone just Into a soul tie. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your soul. Because whether you like or not, just because you have a touch of your feelings, you will be attached to your And we say this, we say this with all seriousness, because we are against a, a whole tidal wave of culture that is against what we want to hold on to. 我今天晚上是很认真的来和你们说这一切，因为我今天晚上所说的这一切是和我们目前所经历到的这一切是反文化的。Be it that you will say to me that uncle, you are so old-fashioned. 可能你会对我说 ，uncle， 你真的是很老古板了。Maybe so. 可能是。But I believe what Joshua is saying to all of us, especially to the younger generation, is that to serve God, there is only one direction. 可是今天晚上，我们看到约书亚在对我们每一个人说的，就是当我们要侍奉神的时候，这是一个单向的决定。In that one direction journey, there will be a lot of distraction. 当你走向这条路，一个单向的路的时候，你会看到有很多分心的事情。And this unchecked relationship is one of the most serious distraction in your journey. 所以在这样子，就是啊，一些不不尊荣神的这样子的关系上呢，就是很长，就是啊，就是让我们非常分心的事情。As Joshua talk about this fact that they must follow God or serve God wholeheartedly. 所以当约书亚在告诉他们说要跟随神，要全心全意的来侍奉神的时候 ，And as as they say that they will also serve God in chapter twenty four. 然后二十四章呢，他们也说他们要侍奉耶和华。So the people say to Joshua, "We will serve the Lord." 所以这些的百姓就回答约书亚说，他们是要来侍奉耶和华的。And in chapter twenty-four, Joshua enters into renew a covenant with them. 所以在二十四章的时候呢，约书亚又带领他们重新的来去更新他们的盟约。So in chapter in chapter twenty-four, in verse twenty-four, uh, the the Bible say. And the people say to Joshua, "We will serve the Lord our God and obey Him." 百姓回答约书亚说，我们必侍奉耶和华我们的神，听从他的话。So on that day, Joshua made a covenant for the people, and there at Shechem, he drew up for them decrees and law. 当日约书亚就以百姓立约，在示剑为他们立定律例典章。And Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak. Near the holy place of the Lord, Joshua 将这些话都写在神的律法书上，又将一切啊一块大石头立在橡树下耶和华的圣所旁边。And in, in in these few verses, what it reminds us is that Joshua, what he did was that he 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 after they say that they will serve the Lord, he set up, make sure that they remember this, and he make a covenant with them. 所以呢，当这些百姓回答约书亚说他们要侍奉耶和华的时候，那么约书亚呢就和他们立约，然后呢，他也做了一个记号，就是要来去提醒他们这样子一个的啊一个的盟约。Tonight, as we come to partake in the Lord's Supper， 今天晚上到我们来领受圣餐的时候 ，as we partake in the Holy Communion， it reminds us， uh， the Bible reminds us in Mark chapter fourteen， it is a covenant of blood with Jesus。我们来领受圣餐的时候，马可福音十四章也提醒过我们，这是耶稣以他的宝血所立的约。Whether you are taking the Holy Communion or not tonight does not really matter. 今天晚上你是否又来领受这个饼和酒啊？不是啊，最大的问题。But we really want to challenge you to consider what is in your heart. 
我要挑战弟兄姐妹，就是你的心里面到底是什么，是怎样的。As later as we have a, a bit of time of quiet during the Holy Communion. 在圣餐的时候，当我们有这一段安静的时间 ，really need to let God examine our heart. 让我们真的是让神来检查我们的心。Are we able to say to Him, as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord? 我们是否真的是能够来去对神说，至于我和我家，我们必定侍奉耶和华。That as for me and my household, we will follow Him. Wholeheartedly. 至于我和我家，我们必定全心全意的来跟随耶和华。As for me, I shall not be distracted by all this unchecked relationship in this journey. 至于我在我的这个灵啊，这个这旅程上，新兴旅程上，我不会受到这些不尊荣神的关系来去分心，分散了我的注意力。As for me, I shall follow God's word strongly. And carefully. 至于我，我要大大壮胆，谨守遵行神的道。May God speak to us and examine our hearts. 真的是啊，求神今天晚上来向我们说话，检查我们的内心。Because as we come for for this holy communion, as we remember the Lord's death for us, it is really to remind us of the covenant. That God is for us in Jesus. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, it really reminds us of the covenant that God has made with us. Because when we come to celebrate this holy communion, when we come to celebrate the death of Jesus, So that we will receive the salvation that comes from Him. 好，让我们能够领受从耶稣而来的救恩。In in Joshua, the book of Joshua ends with this. 所以约书亚记在结束的时候呢，他就这样子说。It talks about burial. 他他就说到了有关埋葬的事情。It talks about the burial of Joshua. He talks also about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the sand. He talks also about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about Joseph's bones being brought back from Egypt and buried in the Promised Land. Then he also talks about It marks an end of where the 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 people of God has traveled all the way from 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 Egypt and come out of Egypt and finally able to conquer and rest in the Promised Land. This lets us see that God's people have traveled all the way from Egypt and come out of Egypt and finally able to conquer and rest in the Promised Land. This lets us see that God's people have traveled all the way from Egypt and come out of Egypt and finally able to conquer And in in many ways, for Joshua and Joseph, it was a dignified rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, they were able to rest in the Promised Land. So, for Joshua and for Joseph, He says Israel served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and the elders who outlived him and who had experienced everything the Lord had done for Israel. 三十一节，约书亚在世和约书亚死后，那些知道耶和华为以色列人所行诸事的长老还在的时候，以色列人侍奉耶和华。So in that verse, it talks about two phases. One phase is where the people follow God under the leadership of Joshua. 所以在这里呢，就让我们看到两个的阶段。第一个的阶段呢，就是这些人在约书亚还在世的时候呢，是在侍奉耶和华。So at the end of the life of Joshua, verse thirty-one says to us, a new era begins where there was a new group of leaders who led the people to follow God faithfully. 然后在约书亚时候呢，在三十一节我们所明白到的就是有新的领袖兴起来，可是，在那个时候呢，仍然啊，以色列人是仍然在侍奉耶和华。So in that way, the second 
group of leaders mark a new beginning. So this second generation of leaders is like a new beginning. We began this series of sermon nine weeks ago, saying that we we hope that we can learn from it about as we enter in a new phase in in this、uh, COVID situation. In nine weeks ago, when I started this message series, I have said that we are in a new phase in the COVID situation. In many ways, in our spiritual life, and and for us, as we enter into a new phase in this COVID situation, for us, as we enter into a new phase in this COVID situation. In this COVID nineteen, it is really also is a new beginning for all of us. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. So, in our life, we enter into this new phase. 那么在这个信息系列里面呢，其实有一件的事情，那么就是在啊，戴牧师在上个星期啊，就是很准确的说了出来。This is the book of Joshua is really very much about a journey of life. 其实约书亚记基本上就是一个生命的旅程。There are times that is really difficult. 有时候我们会有很艰难的时刻。There is time that we have victory. 有时候我们也会经历到胜利。A lot of times it is just plain boring. 可是很多的时候呢，我们会觉得很闷。But、the issue is whether we are holding unto God and that we are serving the Lord. 可是重点就是在于我们有没有紧紧的来去抓着神，然后忠心的来侍奉神。Life is sometimes really、um, unpredictable and. Things that we do not know what will come ahead of us. Life is really hard to predict. There are many things that we have to face in front of us that we do not know what will come. Years ago, there was this song written by a gentleman by the name of Dan Burgess. So, many years ago, there was a gentleman named Dan Burgess who wrote this song. In this song, I thank you, Lord, for the trials that come my way. He said. 主，我感谢你，因我所遇的试炼。Because he say in this journey and this trial, I can grow each day as I let you lead. 因为当他面对到这些试炼的时候，当啊神来引领他的时候呢，他的生命就能够更加成熟。And he say, I thank you, Lord, for the patience those trials bring. 然后他说，主，我感谢你，试炼赋予我忍耐。In that process of growing, I can learn to care. 在那成长的日子里。But it goes on to say something that is true of all of us. 可是接下来的时候呢，他却说了一些的事情，其实在我们生命里面是现实来的。And he say, but it goes against the way I am. 但事实总背逆我的预言。To put my human nature down. 难以放弃自我的主权。And let the spirit take control of what I do. 来让啊，愿你圣灵完全充满引导我。Because when those trials come, my human nature shouts the thing to do. 因为当试炼来临的时候，我的软弱使我去遵从它。And God's soft prompting can be easily ignored. 而让我轻易忽略了神你微小的声音。As we end, as we end this series. So, when we come to the end of this series, perhaps the biggest desire of our heart should be to see the Lord's hand upon us. Perhaps the biggest desire of our heart should be that God's soft prompting is always louder than the desire of our heart. Let us really want to see the Lord's hand upon us. Let us really want to see the Lord's hand upon us. Let us really want to see the Lord's hand upon us. Let us really want to see the Lord's hand upon us. Let us really want to see the Lord's hand upon us. 愿神祝福我们。